Ever since the death of Shane Warne, arguably the greatest cricketer to have ever played the sport, arguably one of the greatest sportsmen to have come out of Australia, a lot of speculations have been made as to what could have been the reason for the death of uh, this 52-year-old sportsperson. And now we've got definite details that have emerged from Thailand, the place where he was holidaying, and we'll try and tell you all those details here in this particular video. So keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to sports today for more such sport related news okay so Shane Wan as you all know by now was holidaying in Koh Samui uh, which is an island in Thailand and this is the villa that he was staying in uh, these are the visuals that have been released by the Thai police so um, uh, these you can see the police gentlemen the people from the uh, the resort that he was staying in and also this was his bedroom and the forensic team that are taking the uh, the pictures of what may have happened at the last moment so uh, first things first what we've been able to establish what the Thai police is telling on record is that there was no foul play and that Shane Wan died of causes from natural death okay so so this is the room this is the bedroom and this is where he was found on his bed lying face down when his friends discovered him uh, remember he was holidaying with a few other male friends who were also staying next to uh, him like this was the villa that Shane Wan was in and there were a few other friends staying uh, just next to him who he was holidaying with so one of his friends found him uh, with his face down on this bed and he was in an unresponsive uh, state then he called on other friends as well who were on holiday with him and they tried to revive him uh, he was motionless and that's when they started getting worried they called the police and in about, they found him around 5 p.m. and in about 20 minutes the police was there uh, but they and they took him to uh, the hospital but they could not revive him so clearly the the cause is a massive heart attack is what they're saying these are his friends being questioned by the police what we know is that uh, uh, the friends had met earlier in the day and then they had dispersed everyone had gone into their rooms and at five o'clock they were supposed to meet somebody else it may have been a business meeting or a, a meeting of leisure and because of that 5 p.m. meeting a friend came to Shane Wan's room to find out where he is and that's when he found him in that condition the other thing we can tell you is that the television was on and on the television uh, the Australia versus Pakistan test match was on so clearly he had been watching the test match too so that is what they found few other details that have emerged there are no signs of any sort of parting in the villa there were no cigarette buds that were found or bottle of beers or anything like that you can see his friends being questioned some of the details that have come from his friends is that uh, you know Shane Wan uh, hated drugs he did not like drugs at all he wasn't a, a big drinker as well he would have his occasional drinks but wasn't an alcoholic or such or or that he drank a lot that wasn't the thing yes he was a regular smoker that he was for many years even while he was playing so those are the details that have uh, emerged so no foul play uh, at the moment so what was his last meal those details have also emerged right now and you could see this on your television screen this is something called the Vegemite which is typically Australian uh, so Vegemite on toast is what he had eaten that was his last uh, meal that his friend has now said what is a Vegemite for those of you who don't know it is a mixture of uh, you know yeast extracts as well as a few vegetables and a lot of spices as I said it's typically Australian you usually put it on the bread alongside some butter and he really enjoyed that uh, uh, meal um, it has a very very strong taste I mean for those of you watching us in India would would know that it's it's very exclusive to that country something like what we have in India called Chavan Prash I'm not saying Chavan Prash can be a meal but I said it's very exclusive to a country it has a very strong taste only some people like it some don't and Vegemite is is typically Australian in that sense um, so so these are the details that have emerged from uh, you know what may have happened so what could be the cause of death the other thing that we found out is that he was complaining of chest pain even while he was in Australia his family has said that he had been visiting a heart doctor we also know that he was a chain smoker so these are the few things and the, and the third most important thing which happened just before uh, his death and maybe you could relate that to his death he had put a social media post saying that he wants to get back this is an old picture of his where he was 
extremely fit uh, in the last uh, you know few months he may have put on a bit of weight and he said he wants to get back to full fitness and for which he was on a liquid diet this is something that his friends have said that liquid diet is also known in the western world as juicing a lot of people do it uh, it's a sort of a crash diet where you don't eat any solid food you only live on liquid foods but those liquids are a lot of vegetables a lot of fruits and you use them in a in a juicer mixer grinder and then make just juices so you have a lot of those juices through the day but no solid food and for 14 days Shane one had been on that diet so some doctors advise that crash dieting is not good but we're not medical experts so we really can't comment on whether juicing is good or not it is it is a fad that that you see a lot of folks in the west uh, use it and to good effect it does help them lose a lot of weight uh, some of the you know, people who support juicing say that it gives you all the nutrition because you're having the vegetables you're having the uh, fruits so you're getting all the minerals all the nutrition that you need so in that sense it's it's not bad but again the jury is out on that but all we can tell you at the moment is that he was a great man uh, who uh, may have lived for just uh, 52 years but uh, in that time lived a great life and as i said these are the visuals that have emerged courtesy uh, the thai police uh, that we are telling you here or showing you here on sports today thanks so much for watching this video and as i said at the start of the video don't forget to subscribe to sports today